What's up guys, DCRC here. Today we're going to show you guys how I rebuild my XP4 gear diffs. So first we're going to take out all the screws. Alright, let's get those done and out, put those aside, and take off the top of the diff. First things first, we will take the spider gears out and readjust my light so it will see better. Then we will take my pick, and there's a slot here in the diff that is a little bit larger. I'll put my pick in that and wedge the main gear out. And I'll get the pin out. And take the out drive out. Then I'll do the same thing to this other side. Except for I'll use pliers to get this one out. And then you'll have to take the gasket out to so the pin is free. Alright, and then you can take the out drive out. So you're gonna make sure everything's on the right side of your paper towel and you don't get things mixed up so you want to put it back together the same way you took it apart so after you do that I'll take a microfiber towel and wipe everything off so wipe off the out drives and the gears And for the spider gears, you can lay them in the towel, take some motor spray, and put spray on there, and then move the towel around on it. I say if you're redoing oil, like different oil, I would say take the gears off <clears throat> and get as much oil as you can off of there, but since I'm just refreshing the oil with the same stuff, I'm not too worried about that. Once I do that, I'll take a Q-tip and I will get as much oil as I can out of the main chamber. You can see it's pretty much dry in there. So now I'll take my track power gear grease right here and get this off of towerhobbies.com and get some grease onto the out drives. I'll make sure it's in the slots of the out drive. Then I will put it back into the gear. If you want to, you can take this shield off and then there's an o-ring under that to if you want to you can re-oil that, but I've never had a problem with that drying out, so I just let it stay there. And I'll put the pin back in so that's all set and ready so that can go. So actually one more thing, put the gasket on. Now it is ready to sit on the side. Next I will get the other drive shaft or out drive. I mix those up all the time. Get grease on there. it in and wipe the extra grease off. 
And I'll take my pin, put it back in there. And now fill the diff up a little bit with oil. So once it's a little bit full of oil, not so much, probably about a third of the diff, maybe not even that. I'll drop the gear inside. See it set in there. Then I fill it up just a little bit more. So there's about five millimeters until it's completely full. This is when I'll set the spider gears in. Take my pliers and push them out to the walls. And push it down in. Wiggle it, make sure they're all the gears are all lined up right. So they're set in there, as you can see. And then you'll put the gear right on top, the last gear right on top. Some will ooze out. You're going to move some of that excess oil into these side slots. Fill those up. So you don't want any air inside the diff. Looks like it's not filling it up completely, so... Use a slight bit of extra grease or oil. There, now they're completely full. So after that, I will slide my finger across so it's completely flat and not overfilled. But there's one more step that I do to make sure it won't be overfilled is I'll scoop out the extra oil where the outdrive and pin will slide into place. So now you can see it's perfectly fine. It's filled right. Uh, make sure there's no oil in the screw holes. This is just that one. Then all you have to do is Put the top back on. Put your oil aside. And put the screws back in. Once you get the last screw in, you want to make sure all the others are not tight yet. I'll actually snug this one down to be the first one to be snugged down. I'll go all the way across, snug that one down, go to one of the last looser screws, snug it down, and then go across again, snug it down. And then I'll take my microfiber cloth and wipe the extra oil out and off. And there you go, that's your diff. Before you put it in, you want to coat the gear completely with gear grease. And to make sure that your gears last as long as possible. And go a little extreme, it's, you can really never go too much grease. What I do is, I just keep on adding it in. I'll spin it around with, with the other gear, uh, with the pinion gear in the gearbox. And... I'll wait for this, for the plastic to all get coated up. And then I feel comfortable that I have enough. So that's how I rebuild my gears, or my gear diffs. Uh, and there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.